This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live, brought to you by Lee Health. Good morning, Southwest Florida. Welcome to another segment of Girl Talk, brought to you by Estero Bay Chevrolet. Your ride, your way. My name is Tashika Perry. I am your Girl Talk host, as well as the founder of Crowning Daughters for Success Enrichment Program, a program that creates confidence without compromise. Well, this morning we have a very special guest, Mr. Israel Pena, and we are live at the Boys and Girls Club of Collier County Boach Campus. Thanks for having Girl Talk with us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, Mr. Shika. It's a pleasure to have you. Uh, you have a position that is dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. You're working with our young people to help them uh, embrace a productive way of living. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit more about you as the team coordinator? Okay. As a, in the position as a team coordinator at the Boach Campus, in Markley, uh, it's very uh, full of life mm -hmm. with the culture here, uh, very family oriented. Mm -hmm. uh, we focus on uh, helping them become uh, caring, responsible citizens mm -hmm. um, here in the community and tying it to Naples' um, um, family oriented mm -hmm. structure and curriculum. So, mm -hmm. as a team coordinator position, I'm accommodating learning. Um, uh, daily routine with impactful sessions like Family Matter, uh, Family Matters, Money Talks, uh, social life skills, mm -hmm. and just small things um, that eventually add up throughout either the school year or um, summer. As a mm -hmm. well, I know that your your job is very weighty, being that you have such a huge responsibility with our teams, mm -hmm. and um, your experience seems to be very uh, joyful mm -hmm. as well as come with a lot of benefits. What would you say the benefits of the teams, uh, what, what is their benefits and how, how about their experience under your watch? <laughs> yeah, uh, speaking through the perspective of my students, I, uh, I, I uh, try to create a welcoming environment, mm -hmm. um, always constantly focusing on respect, uh, mm -hmm. uh, respecting the students' uh, responsibilities mm -hmm. here at the Boys and Girls Club, at mm -hmm. school, at home, whether at work, if they work. Um, and just accommodating again, focusing on how I can better their life, whether if they're coming in with a gloomy um, attitude, I want to say, how do I make your day better? How do I, the small things, just have, making sure they feel heard. Um, and so coming from them, their perspective and seeing how, what they take away, I hope they feel empowered. I hope they feel heard and I hope that um, they are informed of whether it's college, life skills, um, like I said, with the programs that are fostering all of these um, motivations that our students bring with them, sparking that fire in them. Um, I want to kind of continue that, and that's what I hope they take from the Boys and Girls Club. I love when you say sparking that fire, mm -hmm. because they all have that potential. Mm -hmm. And I think when they experience you and the quality programs that the Boach Campus offers, there is a spark mm -hmm. in their fire. Uh, the most dangerous uh, times of the day, statistically speaking, <laughs> are from the hours of 3 to 6. And that's because most parents are at work and most teens mm -hmm. or most young people are by themselves. Now, you work with teens, and they're mm -hmm. able to stay home and keep themselves and hang out yeah. with friends. They have a little bit more you know responsibility what is it about your program and what type of quality do you offer that set that makes teams feel as if this is where I want to be not home okay um, that's a good question mm -hmm. and I always ask myself that every morning because <laughs> you want to start with a great uh, attitude um, like I said the word of the day is accommodating and knowing your students know your uh, members um, try to get to know them personally and academically and all different aspects mm -hmm. of um, I'm actually from Immokalee. I was raised here. I you know, went to college on scholarship and, and luckily through mentors and organizations, um, uh, I learned a lot. So hopefully um, when they come and they see the, uh, the provided information, resources, mm -hmm. we have computer, internet, Wi-Fi. Growing up in my home, we didn't have Wi-Fi. So <laughs> locations like public library, the school, that was a big source of um, connecting um, information, opportunities, um, especially in times like this with social media and all of that to kind of raise awareness for opportunities. So hopefully they feel, um, why, do, why do I want to go to the Boys and Girls Club today? Because it feels like home, it feels oh, like wow. family. So I want them to feel, um, they're always encouraging each other and, and inspiring each other. Um, uh, for example, we're starting our vision boards and they're being inspired by one another. Their art that they work on creating um, their brand. Um, it inspires and it touches themselves and, and it touches other people in the community. So hopefully they take them and you know what, I have a purpose, I have a role here. 
So that's one thing I would say I hope they feel and take with, and, and I see that sometimes. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. You know, to be able to see with your own eyes the mm -hmm. seeds that you're planting, it's going to flourish into an awesome, awesome harvest. And so I know with all of that comes planning. And I know with all of that, you have to be very strategic mm -hmm. when you're dealing with young people because there are so many things that take their attention off what they need to be doing. So what are some of your goals for this upcoming school year? For this upcoming school year, um, I've been with the Boys and Girls Club for about seven months. Mm -hmm. So learning a lot, absorbing a lot, um, learning a lot from my students and the leadership here. Um, the goals, I, since Bolch Campus here in Immokalee is new, uh, fairly new, we're, um, like I said, starting that fire, uh, kindling that fire to grow and to, you know, um, we want to grow our Keystone um, program, which is the focusing on volunteerism, working in the community, um, make, again, creating that purpose, creating that um, service, mm -hmm. um, getting our students involved. Mm -hmm. um, on top of, with that, we want to recognize them through other programs, which is Youth of the Year. Mm -hmm. um, and I know you kind of work closely with that. <laughs> I love so, it. <laughs> yes, and, um, and um, again, with, with um, hard work and, and you know, involvement, mm -hmm. um, it leads to opportunity, it leads to connections, it leads to um, it leads to your dreams in a way. Yeah, I get the point and I really do appreciate, you know, just everything that you're doing. You totally rock. I've mm -hmm. seen you in action. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, um, thank you for all that you're doing to make an impact and make a difference in the lives of our young people. Mm -hmm. Great futures start here. Yes. I'll scream it to the rooftop. <laughs> Great futures start here. Thank you so much for having Girl Talk with me today. Mm -hmm. This has been Girl Talk, brought to you by Estero Bay Chevrolet. Your ride, your way. Thank you so much. Do not touch that dial. We'll have more Lee Pits Live right after this.